Check these out. Check this out. Ready? Ooh, trout socks. What's up with that? What do you know about the trout socks? And then check this out. Check this out. Ooh, trout hat. <laughs> trout hat. That only means one thing. We're coming for you. Cutthroats, browns, rainbows, whatever you are, you're gonna bite our flies and you're gonna like it. Montana time! It's Montana time! It's Montana time! Montana time! Oh! Oh! in our connecting flight now. Veronica's kind of mad at me because uh, she wasn't sitting next to me. Yeah. And uh, she was sitting next to a lady who had to get up like 15 times to stretch her legs. On a two hour flight. And our next flight is 40 minutes and we're in Missoula. So are you happy with me again? Yeah. Why? Because we're sitting together. <laughs> Got it fixed. Hey, it was either you sit next to me or you sit next to a kid that's crying. How do you feel about uh, the plane that we're in? I don't like the color, and there's a propeller that I need. Please grab the cabin for departure. Thank you. So overall, the travel was okay. We had a good time. Alaska Air was amazing, but really, I couldn't wait to just get out on the water. But first check out our Airbnb. After we picked up a rental, we went over to our Airbnb host's place. It was pretty nice. They had a little addition under the top story and it was really cool inside. We really couldn't beat the location. It was nice and quiet, away from the wind, really centralized area and Really, it was so close to the river. actually couldn't be any luckier the two days before it actually rained and the days that we were there it only rained once and that was the day we were leaving this is our rental Subaru Legacy oh, we'll drive. Whoop, whoop. so I know guys I know if you want to get right to the fishing feel free to fast forward because it's gonna be a little bit of a vlog type deal we're about to go get our licenses we'll go fishing tomorrow and the next day so we'll have day one and day two uh, but tonight we're going to have uh, dinner at a cool spot, so enjoy the journey. What's up? All we're here for is our license. Our license and some shampoo and conditioner. Shampoo and conditioner. So we're basically looking for a plan B. For a little bit we entertained the idea of not going only with the fly rods. So we looked at all of these and uh, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> we'll put them back. We're going to go 100% fly rods. We're not going to mess around. We've got them We're here to do it. We can use conventional reels at home anytime. So we're going all in on the fly fishing. Oh yeah, and the gun laws here compared to California. You can buy one and take it home the same day. Legit. We do have a problem. This is what happens when you shop when you're hungry. See, <laughs> right here. All for breakfast and then we got like Cookies in there somewhere. Yes, that's veggie bacon. The trip out thing though is it actually tastes like bacon and it smells like bacon. So that's a win. Shall we begin?
All right, ladies and gentlemen, just got to our first spot. It's a dammed up part of the river. There's a lot of uh, trout in here, so it'll be a really good place to practice, make a few casts, get confident in the, in the gear. Veronica's got her waders on, so we're doing a real life scenario going on. <laughs> real life scenario. Real life scenario, bam. She got the neoprene ones to keep her super warm. And get our fly gear all ready. Again, in my past video, this is uh, one that I tried out at a local pond, caught some bass. This is a five weight rod, perfect for trout. Pretty standard out here. But so far, Montana's been really cool. So explain your ensemble here. Explain my ensemble. Mm -hmm. um, it's a medley of different valuable things for your eyes. <laughs> for your eyes? Yes. My take, eyes and me. Take it all in. So Oops. Veronica tells those guys that we're from the Montana side. We're in Idaho right now. So we can't tell them, oh, we didn't know. Because they asked us if we had an Idaho license. Good job. Oh, we're from Montana. <laughs> we can't claim the fifth anymore. Ooh. I saw something bust on the surface over there. All right, ready? Come on down. Oh, there's some right there, look. There's one right there. Oh, right there. Ooh, I had one take it. Ooh, oh, oh, I can't hook him. Got him. God, you really have to set the hook. So I finally got one on the fly setup. Oh, no, no. <gasps> Look at that. First rainbow trout. Gorgeous rainbow. Caught him on the woolly bugger. Gorgeous rainbow. Oh, there he goes. That was the release. Oh, Veronica's, oh! That was close. See, you have to, you have to like pay real close attention to this because they like, they'll bite soft. At this point, we started getting the hint that trout are very, very picky. So we ended up choosing a black version of what we were already throwing and Veronica catches one. Ooh! Oh, they're coming for this black one. They like it. Yeah. Nice. Oh my gosh, he's fighting. Good job. Oh, sorry. Good job. Ooh. Okay, buddy. Stop. Your first trout. First trout here. I've been trouting other places. Brock got a nice one. There you go. Nice. Hi, baby trout. I'm so sorry. I hoped you. Okay. Wanna go? Swim. Beautiful. Very nice. So I'm going to use a floating one. I doubt they'll be hitting it, but... Ooh! Yes! Got him on the dry fly! Yes! Yes! Look at that, guys! Another one! On the dry fly. Freaking came up and ate it. That was awesome. All right, buddy. All right, just so you guys know, all the gear that we're using, I'm gonna put the link in the description below so you guys can try this out if you want to as well. But this whole set, everything we're using today, is all available. Guess you check it out. It will be a, a link that'll help out my channel. 
All right, so that was fun. Did you yes. Have fun? All right. I got in the water with my waders. She got in the water with her waders. We caught a lot of trout. Uh, my GoPro battery died. I uh, didn't want to get back to the uh, the car to go get them. Sorry, guys. I, I should have, in hindsight, walked back to the car because I want to keep those memories. But we caught some really good fish. Veronica got the, a good hang of uh, casting the fly rod. Um, so that was really good. So now we're heading uh, to a place that was highly recommended for lunch. And then we're going to go catch dinner out of the bitter root. So bitter root, yes. That'll be fun. Hopefully we uh, can get a good few trout for dinner. But this time I'll bring extra GoPro batteries and that'll be good. Be prepared. So we'll be prepared. But look at the scenery, guys. It's beautiful. Alright guys, so we are at a new spot. We had some lunch after that other spot. That other spot was cool. It's just, I'm not gonna lie, that spot was um, planted. They plant those trout there. So uh, it's not that big of a challenge. Uh, my main reason for going there was uh, to make sure Veronica over there can uh, get her bearings in terms of being able to cast out very well so now it's time to hit the hit the big water so we're here on a famous body of water known as the bitter root and uh, hopefully we can get some good good action here so I got these boots too. I'll leave the link in the description. These are really nice. They actually came with felt bottom uh, covers. This actually comes off. So you can change the type of sole you want on this shoe. So right now I got the regular rubber ones. And then I'm really happy about the uh, waders that I got. The waders that I have are uh, the frog togs. And uh, they kept me dry this whole time, and uh, it's pretty nice. The sizing's pretty correct. Yeah, I'm overall happy with them so far. So I'm planning on just attacking down that way. As we begun fishing this new spot, I got really excited because my casts were starting to go exactly where I wanted them to go. The only thing is what I was throwing the trout didn't like. We were seeing so many of them. At this rock pile that I'm standing on, I saw a bunch of rainbows passing through. I kept trying different flies, different approaches, different techniques, and nothing that I had was working. I did manage to get a few trout to rise on my dry fly, but none of them actually took the bait. So that made me think I really needed to find out what was actually working. I kind of want to go to Cabela's. Can you pull that, um... So Veronica caught a, caught a trout today. I got bit twice and they didn't commit. It was terrible. So...
This is called an orange stimulator. Let's see if we can get them. So after what happened yesterday, we really went back to the drawing board. We did end up going to Cabela's where we happened to run into a fly guide and author who gave us so much information on what to use and where to go. He basically took us by the hand, showed us every single fly to get and bring with us, and he also gave us hints on exactly what type of line to use and how long our leaders should be. I'm seriously grateful for that man that we ran into. Watch. See, look, 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 look. Over there, see that? What? Right where my rod is pointing. Right over there. There's some? Yeah. You can see them rising. So try to cast yours. Try going out this way. Like right there. Just watch out where he's casting. Come on, Veronica, let's go. You got this, B Money. You got this. Got one? Good job, good job. Oh, that's a good one. Gorgeous. Bring it up. Oh, oh. oh missed it. Whoa, whoa. Come here, come here. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes! Beautiful fish, Veronica. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Yes, I need a picture. Yeah, you do. I don't want to let this one go. It's mine. Dinner. It's a cutthroat. We're not allowed to keep these. Just keep it. No, I'm not going to. How it's is a, it a cutthroat? It's a cutthroat. It's a beautiful cutthroat. How do you know it's a cutthroat? Look at, its, look at the orange under it. Veronica caught a cutthroat. You can't, we can't keep these. These are a catch and release only. Are they all cutthroat right there? I don't know. Mine was a brown, but that's gorgeous. Look at that cutthroat. Hell yeah, that's dope, Veronica. <sighs> gorgeous. Very nice. Fishy. All right, get the release. Uh, Veronica okay. caught a cutthroat. One, two, three. That was dope. That was awesome. They really like that small fly. How do you know it was a cutthroat because of the red? And the, the orange under his throat. Oh. That's the name cutthroat. It's a form of trout? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. This is awesome. Here we go, here we go. Oh, I missed him. Got one. On the tiniest of flies. Look at that. Look at this. There you go. Good job. That looks good. Look at this fly that I used. Oh, after all this talk about keeping them. Well, that was awesome. What's up, guys? It's our last day in Montana, and I wanted to share with you guys one of my most amazing fish catches. It's so amazing that I caught the same fish twice. Uh, we were at this river, and we were at this spot, and it was towards the end of the night, and I just really wanted to get one oh. so bad. And uh, finally, I, I cast it out, grabbed it. I didn't catch the actual bite, but it took forever to bring this fish in. Uh, it used its power to really dig deep, and my rod was bent like all the way. That's a nice cutthroat. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Finally land it. I didn't have a net, so I had to land it by hand. So excuse my poor handling oh skills. My but oh my uh, I was really excited because it was Look a really it. nice size cutthroat. Oh. And <laughs> all I could really say oh my was, gosh. oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Too bad I'm looking for brown trout though. So I finally get the hook out of its mouth and then I release it. Um, it just fell right into the water and I, I watched it. So I was getting ready to reset. I bring my pole up or I grab the line and the fish was back on the line. Are you kidding me? He ate it again. <laughs> so he grabbed it again what somehow. The? I don't know, maybe the, ate it again. the hook was just right there in his swimming path, but I thought what that was really the? cool. I thought it was worth a share. That was weird, but it's a beautiful fish. Let him go. Go. Uh, give it a like if uh, you thought that was cool. Well guys, that does it for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Overall, this trip was amazing. The people were great. The location was great. The fishing was excellent. We learned a lot failed a lot, but overall it makes us better fishermen, better people in my eyes. I can't wait to do it again. We'll definitely, definitely do it again. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you guys later. Special thanks to Chris who gave us all the tips and thank you to everyone who supports this channel.